Thanks for joining us for another edition of The Small Business Show with Jim Fitzpatrick, exclusively on ASBN.com. Hey everyone, Jim Fitzpatrick. Thanks so much for tuning in to another edition of The Small Business Show, exclusively right here at ASBN.com and now streaming on Roku, Fire TV, and Apple TV. Mastering your mindset as an entrepreneur, as an entrepreneur, I should say, is crucial as it serves as the foundation for resilience and adaptability. Joining us now is Will Polston, who's a keynote speaker, author, executive coach, and host of the Make It Happen podcast with Will Polston. Will's newest book, North Star Thinking, Master Your Mindset and Live a Life You Love, gives readers insights on approaching work and life in a different way. Welcome back to the show, Will. Very much appreciate you taking the time with us. My pleasure. Great to be back. Thanks for having me. Sure. So first and foremost, congratulations on the book. And, uh, and then second, what inspired you to write the book? So I believe that everybody has an ability to achieve their full potential. And by doing so, they will benefit not only themselves, but their family, their friends, their community, society, humanity, and ultimately the universe. So I wanted to give people a practical way to be able to have that impact and, mm -hmm. and to be able to make that difference. That's great. Share with us uh, a, an overview of the book and what you want the reader to leave with. So es essentially, I, I want them to leave with the very practical ways of being able to take the information and turn it into their own transformation. And uh, overview-wise, the North Star thinking is essentially about having a goal in life that's so big that people never achieve it, but they detach from that outcome and they focus on the process. They've constantly got this process they can be fulfilled on, but there's a few key pillars that we touch on in terms of how to master your time, how to have an attitude of gratitude, and how to create habits that stick, that all bring the process of thinking together to get a result ultimately. Wow, I need that book like right now. So, <laughs> <laughs> so if you can rush me a copy. One of the themes in your book is aligning with one's North Star. Um, how can individuals identify their own North Star? So there's a few ways that we do it, but um, one of the really simple ways of doing it is by asking four questions and then working out what the cross center of those questions are. So what do you love? So you make a list of the things that you love okay. and the things that you love doing. What are you good at? So the things that you, you're good at and, 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 uh, and, and what, you, uh, what are your strengths? Then what you can be paid for. And then finally, what you think the world needs. So where you see that there's a problem that can be solved and the crosshair of those, those four, sorry, if you can imagine them on a Venn diagram is one of the ways that you can start to, to get clear on what that North Star is for you. Sure. How can entrepreneurs integrate the principles of your book into their daily routines? So because of the, the various different concepts that we talk about, I think that every entrepreneur has these, these key things. They've got to have a vision. They've got to know how to master their time and be an efficient and effective mm -hmm. with, with their time. They've got to be able to uh, control their thinking and, and their feeling on a daily basis. And ultimately, we, we all know that uh, success comes from consistency. So integrating those habits. So a combination of all of those things gives you a framework to be able to uh, apply on a daily basis. Sure. Um, we, you talked a little bit about what motivated you to write the book, but it seems like this is a very timely book right now because there's a lot going on out there and people need a North Star, right? Absolutely. I think in, in more recent years, we've been more conditioned than ever to focus on short term objectives. And that ultimately just leads to a, uh, well, what I call when then syndrome, you know, so a short term objective, you achieve it, then you set another one, then you set another one and it leads to unfulfillment. But also at the moment, I think there's so much information out there that we can just get overwhelmed by it. Whereas I like to think that North Star thinking condenses everything down, gives you a framework and uh, gives you a really simple path to put it all into action. Sure, sure. Um, it's interesting you put, um, you know, what do you love to do? What are you good at? And what, what are people willing to pay you for, right? And uh, that, that's that area that is always like, well, I, I know what I love to do. Now it's just finding somebody that's willing to pay me for this talent or this service or this product, right? Sometimes that can be the difficult part. Yeah, yeah, it can, it can be. But like, like, I mean, people get paid for some incredible things that um that but when it's of service to people so it's a place of coming from a place of service and solving a problem for people or uh, providing a solution for them yeah yeah no question about it and uh for, for who's the perfect reader for this book right now I, I would say anybody that's highly ambitious so if you've got ambition and drive but maybe you haven't got clear on exactly where you're going to go with it yet but also people that are stuck in what i call the rift so anyone that right now they get into the end of the year and they're feeling frustrated overwhelmed stressed 
and they know that they just want 2024 to be different for them, then this is definitely a book that you can pick up and start taking uh, things from instantly to be able to make a difference for the new year. That's great. You know, we talk to a lot of husband and wives that are in business together that are as small business owners. Um, uh, th this is one of those types of books that I would recommend you get both for the husband and the wife. So you're both on the same page with regard to moving forward in, in this realm, right? Absolutely. I mean, if you don't grow together, you grow apart. So right. the, uh, the the ability to, to both align with where you're going and what you're doing. And I see with partnerships, whether it's business partnerships or husbands and wives, it, you want it like train tracks. You know, you want to be both being driven. It may not be exactly the same, but you want to be aligned. Otherwise, if that starts splitting, then... Uh, sort of what one or two degrees separation at the beginning doesn't mean a lot, but over a period of years, then uh, it soon starts to cause some strain. Yeah. Yeah. There's no question about it. Um, and there's so many people out there that need this kind of uh, book in their life right now. I know I do. So I'm, I'm going to be looking forward to getting a copy of it. Uh, any future books coming up now that you've uh, usually with the authors that I talk to, they go, oh, I'm already thinking about the next one. Yeah, there's a, there's a few in the pipeline that I've, I've got ideas around. This is this is sort of planted the seed, but for the time being, we want to just try and ensure that as many people are, are applying the process of North Star thinking before we uh, we follow it up with another one. Yeah, that's fantastic. Will Polston, executive coach, author, speaker, podcast, of host of Make It Happen uh, with Will uh, Polston. Thank you so much, Will, for joining us on the show. Very much appreciate it. Right below this interview uh, that you're watching right now will be a link so that it'll take you right over so that you can get a copy of the book. So thank you so much, Will. Really appreciate it. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. Thanks. Thanks for joining us for another edition of The Small Business Show with Jim Fitzpatrick, exclusively on ASBN.com.